One Piece is currently in the Egghead Island arc and fans are incredibly excited to see the story continue. For now, the story is tackling the flashback of the character of Kuma and Jewelry Bonnie, and this has certainly been an incredibly powerful flashback, one that could very well rival the very best in the entire series. For now, the series will continue its flashback however, once the flashback finishes, the Egghead Island arc is certainly going to reach its climax and, from there onwards, near its end. Of course, the Egghead Island arc can go any way, and only Oda knows how he's going to conclude this story arc. The fans, however, can only sit and theorize about its conclusion, because One Piece is a story that brings people together with incredible theories and guesses pertaining to the future plot points. This is how the Egghead Island arc's conclusion is believed to move ahead. Kuma's arrival on Egghead Island the very first thing that One Piece currently has to tackle is the flashback of Kuma and Bonnie. There are quite a lot of mysteries that still need to be answered pertaining to these two characters. For instance, Bonnie's deadly illness needs a cure. The prediction related to the Toshi Toshi no Mi being the cure for the illness was made, and only time can tell if this prediction is going to be correct or not. Regardless of that, other questions need to be answered, and these are the ones pertaining to Kuma and his life as a slave. Fans need to know why exactly Kuma became a slave of the Celestial Dragons willingly, and why he took part in the Pacifista project to begin with. Of course, when all these questions are answered and fans finally have clarity regarding the character of Kuma, the story will return to the current timeline. For those who do not remember the current timeline, the characters are facing a very dire situation. Saturn has taken his powerful devil fruit form, and he's currently on the verge of killing Bonnie. One by one, he's going to start executing all of the members of the Straw Hat Pirates as well and Luffy, who is Nika, is a big thorn in his side. This disaster will most definitely be averted by Kuma himself, who will become the hero once again and save everyone. First of all, he's going to save his own daughter from Saturn. Kuma barely has any memories left, and he certainly does not know what he's doing. However, it is possible that he could have something pre-programmed in his body that allows him to save Bonnie from imminent death, just as he protected the Sunny during the time skip. Kuma saves Nika, and Nika saves Kuma. From there onwards, Kuma will have even bigger roles, and the Egghead Island arc fans will likely see him join the fight against the Marines and the Celestial Dragon, Saturn. Of course, Kuma doesn't have it in him to defeat any of those characters by himself, and this is even harder for him with one of his legs missing and half of his face burned off by a kainu. However, Kuma can save the day in a different way. Kuma always wanted to be the savior of people, just like the warrior of liberation. In fact, Nika was his idol while growing up, and he believes that Nika will one day save him and all the slaves and bring a smile to their faces. This is why Kuma will spend whatever energy he has in trying to save Luffy. Now, one might wonder as to how he will accomplish this. The answer to that is very simple. Kuma has the power of the Nikyu Nikyu no Mi. He will use the power of his devil fruit to bring out all of Luffy's pain and take it one last time. This will likely devastate Kuma and damage him even further. However, this will heal Luffy back to full strength and give him the opportunity to take center stage as the sun god Nika. Kuma himself will likely not die, since he believes that he will be saved by Nika one day. Luffy will absolutely not let him die and would then have to fight against Saturn and, in the process, save Kuma as well as Bonnie. Luffy vs Saturn, the Iron Giant, and the climax of the war. Once Luffy returns to power, the Egghead Island arc will then hit its climax which should mean that the biggest of fights are going to be unfolding in the arc. Of course, the grand spectacle of the arc is going to be Luffy vs Saturn, and there will also be minor fights, such as Luchi vs Zoro and, potentially, a weakened Kizaru vs Sanji. These fights are going to be focused on quite a lot, and fans need to know what role Jewelry Bonnie is to play in all of this. Of course, being a pivotal point in this plotline, Bonnie cannot simply sit by. Fans will have to see what story role she ends up taking care of, and it will be interesting to see which way Oda goes with her character. Regardless, the main focus is going to be Luffy vs Saturn, and that is a fight that fans absolutely would love to see. Of course, Saturn is incredibly powerful however, so is Luffy and, 
he still has a lot left to show. In his fight against Kizaru, he certainly showcased his tremendous strength, but everyone knows that Luffy did not go all out. He has stronger techniques that he hasn't utilized in the fight against Kizaru, and those might be shown when he takes on Saturn in combat. At the same time, fans should also remember that there are 30,000 marines surrounding Egghead Island and a siege that cannot be broken by just the members of the Straw Hat crew alone. This is where the Iron Giant comes into play. The Iron Giant is powered by an ancient energy source, and it was revealed recently that this energy source is none other than Luffy himself. The drums of liberation that he channeled throughout the island when he turned into his giant form were enough to power up the Iron Giant and get it to awaken. The Iron Giant has not completely gotten up yet. However, when Luffy takes on Gear 5 once again, that is when the Iron Giant is going to be fully charged up and rises. The Iron Giant will then play the role of Vague Force, and that is to secure an escape for the Straw Hat Pirates after the dust settles. The first job that the Iron Giant will have will be to take care of the Navy's siege. Fans should expect the Iron Giant to break through the complete siege that is surrounding Egghead Island. Once the siege is broken by the Iron Giant, the Marines will have no option but to admit their defeat or to retreat. What happens to the members of the Marines depends completely on how Oda wants this event to go, however. Fans should not expect them to win at any cost. The Egghead Incident, Saturn's Defeat, the Crushing of the Marines, the Coming of Blackbeard. From there onward, the end of the Egghead Island arc will likely begin. This is where the Egghead Incident would take place. Simply put, the Egghead Incident will entail the defeat of Saturn, which is a shocking and groundbreaking event for the entire world and, at the same time, the crushing of the Marines. A fleet much stronger than the Buster Call would then be crushed by the Straw Hat Pirates. The Iron Giant will secure an escape for the Straw Hat Pirates, and Kuma and Bonnie will both be rescued, along with Vegapunk as well. The Straw Hats will successfully leave the island and head toward Elba. At the same time, fans should not forget that the Blackbird Pirates are looming around the island themselves. Their own will likely come at the very end of the hour, and it could be for stealing powerful devil fruits or taking charge of something that Vegapunk has developed for himself. Either the Blackbird Pirates will steal some sort of power, such as the Mother Flame, or they will likely take in Saturn and Kizaru, who would, at this point, have been defeated by Luffy and the Straw Hat Pirates as captives. That is likely how the Egghead Island is predicted to conclude. And in other news, One Piece, Oda reveals characters stronger than the Yonko. The Yonko are incredibly powerful people in the One Piece world. These four powerful pirates rule the New World like kings and have done so ever since the death of the Pirate King, Goldie Roger. They took the Great Pirate Era by storm and, even in the New Age, they are exceptionally overpowered. The Yonko have dominated the One Piece world for generations now, and they will likely continue to do so in the future as well. While the numbers of the Yonko are certainly not as high as the likes of the Marines or the World Government, government agents, their individual strength is far greater than any others that fans have seen in the story. Only a handful of characters that are not Yonko can rival these massively powerful crews, however. Now that One Piece has entered the final saga, the fact that Oda is now introducing stronger characters should not surprise anyone. Luffy has already defeated a Yonko, and that means whatever comes next should be on a level higher. The Yonko of the One Piece world the Yonko of the One Piece world are incredibly powerful, and they have always been held in legendary light. When the story was in the early phases, the Yonko were comprised of Whitebeard, Shanks, Big Mom, and Kaido. Out of all these emperors, Whitebeard was certainly the strongest, especially when he was healthier. Whitebeard was so strong that his name was spoken of in a different light when compared to the other Yonko. In fact, the Yonko themselves were given their flowers by being compared to the great Whitebeard in territorial battles. This goes to show how different the portrayal of Whitebeard was when compared to the other Yonko through the years. Of course, fans don't need a portrayal to tell that Whitebeard was on a different level altogether. They already know his level of strength, given that he was seen fighting and matching Roger in battle and, in the Paramount War, 
crushing a significant portion of the Navy despite being old, dying, and not even having access to some of the strongest of his abilities. Aside from him, the Yonko also include powerful hockey users, such as Shanks. Although Shanks has been a Yonko for six years now, he has never revealed his true strength. This is because Shanks is somewhat mysterious and has been waiting for something. Shanks has attained a bounty of 4.0489 billion berries, and the fact that he has attained this figure, even without getting actually serious about hunting down the One Piece and entering the great game is scary. The level of strength established for Shanks is frightening. However, what's even scarier is the fact that there's a good chance that his true strength strength has not even been revealed in the story so far. Of course, there are Big Mom and Kaido as well, and these two individuals were always extremely overpowered. Kaido was openly called the strongest pirate on more than one occasion, and his strength was incredible, as was evident from the display he put on during the Wano arc of One Piece. Even the world government were somewhat wary of making an enemy out of him, and that just goes to show how powerful Kaido truly was. Big Mom was comparable to Kaido, and these two were often paralleled by Oda himself. That means Big Mom herself was just as monstrous as the strongest creature. She was incredibly overpowered, and even though Oda failed her in some ways when it comes to combat, she remained to be an extremely powerful character until her very end. The potential characters stronger than the Yonko, the Five Elders. It is clear to see that the Yonko are some of the strongest characters in One Piece that can hardly be rivaled by anyone. However, now, One Piece is in the final saga. The strength of the Yonko is immense, however, it cannot be the ceiling of power in the story. The fact is, fans have already seen characters whose strength is a tier above. For instance, the former Pirate King, Roger was certainly a level above the vast majority of the Yonko, and he could fight like no other. The only one worthy of rivaling him would be Whitebeard, and fans already know that this character was held in a different light even among the Yonko. That in itself is proof enough that there exists a tear above the level of the Yonko, and that as the story edges closer towards the final saga, more of these overpowered characters will make their presence known. In fact, quite a lot of them have already appeared in one piece, and the most significant of the lot are the Five Elders. For the longest time, fans believed that the Five Elders would be political figures with no strength to back up that lofty title. However, all those theories were shattered in the Reverie flashback that was was delivered by Sabo. The five elders were revealed to be demonic entities that possess power that can be hardly matched by anyone in the world of One Piece. They possess devil fruits the likes of which haven't even been seen, and it is extremely likely that all of them are awakened devil fruit users as well, which only makes them stronger. Added to that is the fact that these are people who have likely been alive for centuries upon centuries, and accumulated quite a lot of strength as well as experience. Their hockey must be on a completely different level and, at the same time, their devil fruit control should be exceptional as well. From what the fans have already seen in the story, these monstrous five elders should be on a completely different level and a tier above the Yonko. The strongest individual in One Piece, Saint Imunarona. Of course, the five elders are among the ultimate villains of One Piece, however, they are not the only ones that could be above the tier of the Yonko. There is also the person who rules over the entire world, Saint Imunarona. Fans already know that Imu is the sovereign of the entire world and that they possess tremendous powers as well. The vast majority of the fans believe that Ima might not have special powers or even be a combatant. However, once again, Sabo's flashback shattered those beliefs when Ima not only revealed their devil fruit power and killed Cobra, but also reacted to Sabo's powerful attack by consuming it altogether. In fact, Sabo likened the presence of Emu and Five Elders to that of creatures from Hell itself, and that paints quite a picture of how strong these monstrous characters who shape the entire world are. As One Piece progresses, the Five Elders and Emu will grow in importance and fans know that they are in for a ride, given that stronger foes will always be needed in order to increase the tension in the story. Luffy might have reached the level of most of the Yonko, however, there are higher levels to hit now that the Five Elders and Emu stand in his way. That's a wrap for this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'll be back with more amazing videos very soon.